Um, obviously, he's been he's let go. I know it's not your decision in the yep. end, but you're going to have some input. What will what, what your team do with that two-way spot? Um, well, it's it's those things are interesting, right? And and um, they've become more interesting for us this year with all the injuries. Um, you know, my thing is is um, get get somebody in there that can that can play for us if the need arises and and um, you can't really sit here and say we need that position or this position I think we needed them all this year right <laughs> whatever position uh, the guy can do and, and a guy that can can um, hold a role down like you know take take O'Shea for example well um, he's he's maybe not had the greatest 905 run he's been solid there but but when he comes up for us, he plays a role. He defends, he rebounds, and and he may stick a shot here and there. So he fit he fits in, and and it's it's um it's kind of one of the tricks with with some of those uh, uh, 905 guys or G League guys in general. Um, I don't think there's too many times where you're where you're trying to come up and be the primary scorer, yeah. right? You're coming up to try to fit a role, and can you fit in, and can you guard, and can you hustle, and can you do pick up things quickly, and not you know not not make too many mistakes so just a good player best player available on still on the board so, uh, you got mark coming back we talked yep. a lot about working guys back in is it because of his where he plays and what he does and his experience is it a little easier to for him to sort of re-enter the, the frame um I, I hope so i mean it hasn't been that easy for us uh no. re-entering these guys but um it's okay you know it's it's um Getting them back in and it'll it'll filter itself out and work itself out as we go here. But um, yeah, I mean, hopefully we'll be he'll be okay and fit in. We 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 need some size and rim protection and, and certainly his IQ. He's 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 um, at both ends. He's kind of a bit of a captain, right? He gets us some easy baskets and he prevents some easy baskets. So uh, it should be nice. Well, I wouldn't say it's been tough on me, but it certainly hasn't been easy, right? It's been it's been a challenge without question. It's been uh, difficult, et cetera. But you know, it's part of the deal. You know, you got you got to go out there each night, and and there's nothing easy in this league, I don't think, um, anyway. But when you're moving guys in and out constantly, and trying to keep them organized, and trying to win, and and um, traveling all over the place, you know, it's it makes it a little tougher, but. It's okay, you know. I think it. I think it. Hopefully, it's helped me grow a little bit as a coach, which we're trying to do, and hopefully, it'll make me a little better as we go forward. The OKC's numbers over the last 15 or so games are a little bit better, but they've taken a big turn. What, what can you pinpoint to say why they've been playing so well as a play, so consistent? Yeah. Um, you know, I think um, I always start probably Sherm with with Chris Paul. You know, this guy's this guy's a, a, a an elite player in this league uh, super smart I think he keeps them organized he makes big buckets uh, and he's a competitor right that that it's not unlike with Kyle that stuff oozes out of those guys and those other guys pick up on it and um, I think he can't help himself right in a good I mean that in the best way that the ball goes up and he starts figuring out how to how to win the game and he's gonna put the effort forward he's gonna make plays um, he's going to lead his team. He's going to organize his team, and, and then you go from there. But and then and then let's not let's not uh, underestimate Shea's big leap up again, similar to Pascal and that for us. You know, if you want to keep making comparisons, Stephen Adams is a, as good a big as you need in this league. Um, you know, they, and and you come off the bench with a guy who can get you 15 or 30 in Schroeder every night. So. It's a good team, well coached and deep, and, and and it's a good team. Period. What makes Shea so like so, the ability to sort of impact the game so quickly in his career? Even last year in LA, I mean, he was he, he sort of came in and he was every night he was making an impact. Yeah, he's got a great uh, feel, right? Just just uh, um, tempo wise, um, he uh, does things at, a, at his own speed right and, and I keep saying his first step's unbelievable and then he slams on the brakes the last 10 feet and puts it in slow motion he moves up moves himself around uses tremendous length and athleticism makes the right play he finishes um, and he just seems to have great temperament 
you think that unique ability is what separates him from a lot of the other guys that s s sort of slow it down and then speed it up? Did you see the Well, line? I think so. I think I think uh, there's a lot of guys that can put their head down and go 100 miles an hour, yeah. right? And get get into the paint and crash into you and do stuff, but I think it's it is unique that you can go so fast and so slow in the same possession.